Welcome people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and my family and I buy and sell things that we find at thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, wherever we can find them when we sell them on to the internet. And this is our top five best finds this week. Let's get into it. So this week was a week of jackets, which makes sense because it's getting colder all over the country. And I found some pretty cool ones. So let's take a look here at first at number five. Number five is this uh, Wrangler jacket, which I believe is like from the 70s, maybe early 80s, um, based on some of the tags here. Um, it is a snap jacket. It's got the corduroy, uh, you know, the uh, corduroy collar here. It's got the fuzzy interior, which is real nice and soft. Uh, but the only unfortunate, potentially unfortunate I thing about this is that someone did a custom job on this. Uh, the colors are not my favorite off <laughs> too much, uh, but but it is a a, a a great and pretty cool uh, Wrangler jacket. I could potentially pull out the design. Um, I'm not sure I will. I think we've already photographed it, so we might just live with it, see if somebody else will live with it as well. Otherwise, it's a pretty freaking cool jacket. And number four, we have this wild thing, this patchwork cut and sew leather jacket. Um, it's Dav Mark, genuine leather, made in Korea. Uh, definitely probably 70s, 80s. But golly, look at the colors on this thing. Um, there are a couple parts where it probably needs some cleaning, some TLC. Uh, but the colors are flipping wild. Like, I mean, great. I, I think we picked it up for like five bucks. Um, super cool jacket for sure. Uh, definitely hoping uh, to get like maybe 50 plus for this. Maybe maybe 80 between 50 and 80. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. So we'll see what happens. All right, now since it is getting colder, some of you guys are probably out there skiing. Uh, I know there's a lot of snow coming down uh, where we are right now, um, and all across the country. So maybe you're gonna go out skiing. Maybe you should get one of these guys. Uh, this is an Obermeyer. Uh, made in British Hong Kong, so you know this is probably like uh, 70s. It's definitely got the 70s vibe with that sort of rainbow look here. Total like that 70s show vibe on this guy. Uh, this thing is incredibly cool. Super dope. Uh, men's style downhill, so it's a ski jacket. It's a bit thicker. Uh, picked it up for five bucks. Um, I bet if we can get it up there quick, since it's in such great condition uh, for the most part and it looks so cool, I bet we could probably get 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more out of it. Um, five and 50, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to do every day. Now at number four, we have a Wrangler jacket that is not been designed on. Um, it's this guy right here, this super cool corduroy color again. This is probably 80s, uh, early 90s. Super cool, made in the USA. The denim is fantastic. Uh, the wear is great, so there's still plenty of life in this guy right here. Um, we paid, I think, again, I think about five bucks for this thing. Um, I would imagine something between forty and sixty dollars for this guy. It's not the oldest Wrangler jacket by any means, but the design is super sick. Um, it looks great. Got the W's on here for Wrangler, um, so I think we can definitely move this thing. Um, for a pretty good price. Now before we get to number one, leave your best find in the comments below. Brag on yourself. I want to hear what you found, uh, what you're excited about, uh, what you know, what did you dig out of the thrift this week? Leave it in the comments below. We would love to hear what you're finding. Now for number one, this is certainly one of the best brands that you can find. This is a brand that I never ever, no matter what condition it's in, no matter what size it is, I always buy and that is Filson. These are some Filson carpenter pants. You can see right on the inside here. We have the Filson lo tag logo right here. Big old patch on the back. It's got all the bells and whistles. It looks sick. Super high quality Filson denim jeans. I don't know if they're vintage. I don't think so. They don't look uh, vintage to me. Um, I don't have any like special uh, tricks to determine whether they're vintage, but they are super dope, fantastic uh, pair of jeans, and it's Filson. Filson equals money. Like, this is this is gonna sell. It may sell almost immediately, it may take, take a couple weeks, I don't know, but it will sell, and it'll sell for a good price. That is a guarantee on pretty much anything Filson. So, super pumped I found these jeans. Um, I think we paid like 350 for them. So uh, it's funny because the store that uh, that I bought them from, they seem to like they want to up price certain like pairs of Levi's that are not really worth. You know, they'll put a pair of Levi's. Maybe they're clean looking, but they'll try to sell them for thirty bucks. And 
This is the pair that's the most expensive, the, like the most valuable denim jeans that were in that building that day, and uh, they were selling them for 350. They just don't know. So that's one of the, you know one of the reasons we go to thrift stores is because we know stuff that they don't know, and that's the way we like to do it, and that's how we find our deals and maintain our lifestyle. So super dope. Still said, always buy it, in my opinion. There's probably not a good reason to not buy something Filson ever. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.